engineers. They are on our campus and they're often purple, balding and covered in chains. So we wanted to talk to the head organizers and figure out what makes an engineer tick. Why do they do these things during Frost Week? And we also found out a little bit about the grease pole and why it took so long to get up this year. Yeah, it was over three hours. It was three hours, 41 minutes and 31 seconds. The longest it's taken in a, in Few a years. long time. Yeah. Fight, basically. So what is this? Oh, we're mosh right now. We're moshing. You're moshing. Yeah, I think it's the correct way to wear us out. Do they make you do this often? A lot. I think you have mud in your eye. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well jump, jump, Ross, jump! Hey guys, so I'm here with Rob Lee. So Rob, what is your title? So I'm the orientation chair for Engineering Frosh Week. So as the orientation chair, it's my job to kind of oversee everything. I don't have as many specific duties as maybe someone who's in charge of the grease pole or the chief rec, but kind of all encompassing and keeping an eye out, making sure everyone else on my team is doing a good job. So when did it all start? When were you given the keys to the car and said, okay, go? Uh, yeah, so it was uh, early October when I was hired, and pretty much as soon as I was hired, uh, it's like go, go, go right away, hit the ground running, had to hire the chief rec, hired the rest of the committee, uh, hired the logistics coordinators, and before you know it, we were already into Christmas break, we get back, we barely had time to figure out what the positions were, and then it was hiring the FREX, which was a crazy, crazy week, because we had uh, about 380 applicants for 170 spots, and then, yeah, working all summer. Uh, with my committee to make sure everything's lined up and then five days of orientation and we're done. So what were some of the highlights then for this year? Was there anything that changed from last year significantly? Or? One of the events on Wednesday uh, last year called Palooza was replaced by an event that was uh, cancelled a few years ago called Bigger and Better. Bigger and Better we thought was a much more enjoyable event both for the Frosh and for the leaders and it consists of giving each Frosh group three copies of Golden Words and going out into the Kingston community and trying to trade up their Golden Words for something bigger and better and then bringing whatever they find into City Park to present to FREC committee. So this year we got some really cool stuff. Uh, the principal, Daniel Wolf, came out. He was traded by his wife. Uh, we had a couple fire trucks, uh, a Dodge Viper, uh, a Kingston transit bus, old like furniture, like all sorts of cool stuff is found in Bigger and Better. So it was a real success. So I kind of want to talk about Grease Pole for a second. Why did it take them so long? Three hours, 43 minutes, 31 seconds. It seemed to be exponentially more than kind of the years past. Was there anything wrong with their technique or? Yeah, uh, that's a, I've had that question a few times already. And uh, 
See, the thing with the grease pole is, is that the first hour and a half to two hours are kind of a write-off. They start off on their own, trying to climb it just the first year class, and then at around the hour and a half mark, we start letting in the upper year students until the entire faculty is allowed to climb. Now, in my year, it was an hour and 47 minutes, and the year before that, it was about an hour and 40, and last year, it was about two and a half hours. But the year before that, people don't realize, it was over three hours as well. So really, the thing is, is that once all the upper years are in, and we're all climbing it as a group, that's when we start directing people. It's called a directed climb. And there's people in the water called the water team. And working with me and the grease pole coordinator, we try to direct everyone up the pole. But the problem is, is if anyone's feeling uncomfortable for whatever reason, they call a break and we back up and we start again. And for whatever reason, this year we just had some bad luck. People were feeling uncomfortable. It was a hot day. Maybe they were a little dehydrated or maybe just uh, things were just compressed a little bit too tightly. Anyway, it wasn't really any fault of the class. It was just kind of, and it wasn't really the fault of the people directing it. I was just going to say it's kind of just bad luck. And, but eventually we got it. We, uh, with the help of some of the people who helped last year, who organized it last year, we managed to get a really solid climb. And I think Psy 13 should be proud. It took them a while, but they should still be really proud. Well, thanks so much for coming on and talking to us, and all the best in the next year. Oh, anytime. Thanks. Yeah.